Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. This week Andina News Agency announced the discovery of a tomb that contained a member of the Inca elite in Cerro Blanco mountain in the Lambayeque region of the northern desert of Peru. It is more than 500 years old, is large, and archaeologist Aneximandro Nunes Mejia said it is unprecedented in the region. The tomb covers more than 60 square metres, is deep, plastered, and made with high quality mud brick walls, which includes niches that would have once held idols of Inca gods. It is like no other Inca tomb ever discovered and has the experts intrigued. According to Mejia, its construction started with the excavation of a grave that was deep and large enough to house the remains of an important person and his companions on their journey to the beyond, as well as a vast number of offerings to be placed in niches and around the individuals. Inside the tomb were five adults and four children, all of which seem to be approximately six years old. The children are also thought to be sacrificial victims. Although the tomb and its main inhabitants seem to have had importance, sadly the tomb has been looted some time ago in antiquity, being clearly broken into many times as people searched for treasure. According to the channel News Asia and reported by AncientOrigins.net, despite evidence of looting, archaeologists have recovered items including jewellery and vases. The few finds will certainly help the archaeologists to understand the tomb, its inhabitants and their position in society. One type of artefact that was discovered is the spondylus, a type of seashell that was always present in the graves of important Inca people. The spondylus is a type of thorny oyster. They were prized by many cultures and held great value, especially in the pre-Columbian civilizations of South America. Some believe they were used as ceremonial offerings for people of high status, and that is one of the reasons why archaeologists believe that this tomb belongs to someone of status, not to mention the children sacrificed and buried with him. The spondylus shells may also have been a form of Inca currency. What makes this find even more interesting is that the Lambayeque region is only thought to have been part of the Inca Empire for a short time, just 50 years. It is 1,000 kilometers north of the capital Lima and 2,000 kilometers from Cuzco, the historic capital of the Inca Empire, which stretched from southern Colombia to central Chile. Lambayeque is also home to several civilizations, such as the Moca and the Chimu cultures. The Inca conquered the latter sometime in the 1470s, as it was a rich and populous region, and according to AncientOrigins.net, its prosperity greatly impressed the Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century. The new find is another piece of the Inca puzzle, as experts try to gain a clearer understanding of the workings of the empire, which lasted from the 12th to the 16th centuries. It is surprising to have a member of the Inca elite so far from Cuzco, but maybe the person in the tomb was stationed there to keep a close eye on the local inhabitants, a local leader or administrator. Why the tomb is so different to other Inca tombs may be because it wasn't an Inca province for very long, and still had the local Chimu culture influences. As is seen so often in finds around the world, there are often cultural exchanges and developments as people of different backgrounds mix and merge into one. The experts hope to find more artefacts and more tombs as they continue to dig the region, and we hope to learn more about the amazing Inca civilization in the coming months. I've just launched a second YouTube channel called Space and Planet, which focuses on Earth and space science news as well as independent scientific research. Please subscribe now to give my new channel a head start, I've placed a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.